Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This Photo News Fix is brought to you by the I Shoot Raw Back to School Shirt Sale. For the next four days at store.fronosphoto.com, use the code B2SFRO at checkout to get 29% off all the shirts you can fit into your cart. Remember when I told you the sad news that Micron, the owners of Lexar, decided to shutter the brand? Well, there's some good news. The Lexar trademarks and branding have been acquired by a Chinese flash storage company named Longsys. Lone Star. Longsys is an 18-year-old company, meaning they're legal, that has been looking to dive into the U.S. market for quite some time now. They specialize in consumer flash storage and, according to the press release, sell over 100 million flash-based devices a year. Longsys says this acquisition provides assurance to existing Lexar customers that the solutions and support they have come to expect from Lexar branded products will continue to be available. Now, I personally have never heard of Longsys, which makes it a little harder to trust my storage to them. Sure, they've been around for 18 years and sold over 100 million flash-based products overseas each year, but based on the press release, it seems all they've done is purchase the branding and trademarks to Lexar. It's pretty similar to what happened to Kodak as well as Polaroid, and both of those companies now put out pretty subpar products. So there's no saying if the cards they make will be up to the same standards as what Micron was making under the Lexar banner. What I can tell you is once the last batch of Micron Lexar cards are done, I won't be using anything new from Lexar anytime soon. So what about you? Will you trust your images to the Longsys Lexar cards? How many of you out there have used the feature in Instagram that lets you show 10 photos in one post? I personally rarely used it since it locked you into only sharing images in the square format. Well, now with the release of Instagram version 12, that's all changing, sort of. The good news is they are fixing it and removing the forced aspect ratio, which will allow you to select between adding horizontal or vertical photos or even video. Video. Steven, what about horizontal? The bad news is you will have to stick with one aspect ratio for the 10 images or videos you post, which Instagram notes will keep the experience both smooth and consistent. Maybe when someone is scrolling and stops on a post with multiple images, it sort of springs back and forth slightly to show you like a rubber band that there's actually more images there. On top of that, it would be great if people could heart each photo as well as leave comments on each specific image. Will you use this feature more at this point? or still ignore it. Don't forget, if you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe and like button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please give this a share. Have you ever wanted to own the amazing Canon 85 F 1.2, but didn't want to spend the $1,900 to own one? Well, there's good news. You can now spend only $24.95 and get this lens coaster, which looks like an 85 F 1.2. Each lens coaster consists of five coasters all held together by hidden magnets to hold the lens's shape. It also comes in three different colors, classic Canon white, Canon black with black pads, and the one I didn't buy, black with red pads, because I didn't like that one. Now I picked mine up at B&H, but you can also purchase them on Amazon with Prime shipping. Now remember, this was not a sponsored news story, I just really like coasters. And finally, leading up to the solar eclipse, we were all bombarded with don't look at the sun without those cheap cardboard glasses. We also heard a million times, if you're going to take photos of the sun, you must have a solar filter. Well, according to LensRentals.com, a few people didn't get the memo. LensRentals writes that despite numerous warnings sent out to renters, a number of cameras and lenses still came back damaged and destroyed. There was the Panasonic 20mm f1.7 lens that had its aperture blades partially melted by Sawyer, I mean the sun, and Raw Talk fans will get that joke, Raw Talk every other Monday. A Canon 70 Mark II shutter almost had a hole burn through it, and the sensor behind it was also damaged. A D500 had its mirror melted, and the nearly $12,000 Canon 600 f4 had its aperture blades completely destroyed by the sun. Zach Sutton of Lens Rentals said, a customer used a drop-in solar filter to protect the camera from being damaged by the eclipse. Well, he was right, the camera was protected, but the lens iris was not protected. Let's hope all the photographers took Lens Rentals Lens Cap Plus Protection Plan, which protects your gear from damage by bear attacks and I guess the sun as well. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click right here. And don't forget to subscribe and share wherever you are. So thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Peace! Or is that's what Steven says, I say, I say, see ya.